वेलकम टू सुब्रमनी इज इट अ गुड टाइम टू बी बाइंग अ हाउस और शुड यू वेट टिल 2024 थाउजेंड इफ यू वेर इन द यू एस इट वुड हैव बीन ईजी टू गेट द आंसर बिकॉज देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड फैनी मे इंडेक्स राइट सो ऑन होम बाइंग सेंटिमेंट इंडेक्स इन इंडिया वी डोंट क्रिएट सच इंडाइस सो वी डोंट नो द करेक्ट आंसर uh remember us uh, mortgage rates are breaching the 7% mark unimaginable right we are very close to the indian lending rates of 9% 9.5% maybe i don't know what is the current uh, mortgage rates but yeah 9.5% 10% doesn't seem to be very far away given our uh, gsec rated 7% Uh, can it come down maybe it can come down can it go up it can go up can it remain same for a long period of time i think that's the most likely uh, scenario yes we are uh, we may have peaked but i think we will remain at the peak for much longer period than what we are uh, more the most optimistic guys are talking of a cut in uh, rate but uh, only in 2025 will we see cut rates in uh, rates getting cut in 2024 maybe uh if some uh, money flows into india if enters if uh, the fed starts cutting rates i can't imagine uh, rbi cutting rates before the fed cuts so having said all that is it a good time to be buying and what should you be uh, seeing so first of all i see a lot of people now uh, wanting to take some money out of uh, equities saying uh, <coughs> look my portfolio is <coughs> sorry appreciated quite a bit should i take some money out and buy a house for my son or my daughter uh, i can at least uh, save a lot of tax which is not a bad reason to buy a house if you have a portfolio which you had put 10 lakhs and it is worth 5 crores 2 crores whatever depending on how long you left it there uh, taking away 50 lakhs or 1 crore and buying a real estate for your kids or part funding it is not a bad idea of course you will have to put your name on it uh to save taxes but it's not a bad idea at all so from that point of view from an asset allocation point of view taking some money out and putting and buying a share buying a house is not a bad idea uh is it the right decision depends on whether you need it right if you don't need the house you don't need to buy it right uh, can you shift on rent that actually makes a lot of sense especially if you can't afford to make the down payment and things like that but then if you have a indulgent parent or uh, somebody who is willing to fund you partly or uh, fully or whatever that's not a bad time to be buying a house i've seen people in the last 2 uh, 3 years at least about 10 people buying houses uh, just to take some money out of the equity market is it a good idea depends because uh, on what location you buy and things like that but largely that's a consumption asset it is never going to be sold it's like gold right the the greatest sip in the world is gold because uh, there are no withdrawals you just uh, my grandmother bought it my mother bought it my wife bought it my daughter bought it kind of uh, how gold gets accumulated so real estate is also something like that so if you are looking at it emotionally rather than uh, logically uh, any time is a good time to buy right so look at the current market situation interest rates are not at the lowest but if it if anything it is headed lower it cannot go higher than this so if you can afford an emi today you will not have to worry about increasing emi at least i don't think you need to worry too much about it but understand that if you it's a 20 year loan or a 25 year loan or a 30 year loan then during that period sometime interest rates will go up sometimes interest rates will go down so i don't think you should worry too much about current interest rates but current interest rate is a good time to be locking in because i can only see interest rates going down will it go down in 2024 or 25 that's a guess but it cannot go much higher from here right uh, where are the home prices i don't really know the dynamics of the uh, real estate market because not good indices are available and in, uh, in in mumbai at least in india that i have seen uh, mumbai navi mumbai etc the price that you pay depends on the age of the building the location and very importantly the uh, builder who is building some builders get a premium some builders don't get a premium so if you are buying a half constructed property from a small builder uh, all the best because we do not know even with rera we do not know whether there are enough uh, uh, guard rails to protect you from something going wrong in the balance sheet of the builder so if you are buying a ready made house from a, a reputed builder be willing to pay a slight premium maybe 20% premium not even slight 
uh, but that's the money that you have to pay for guarantee so our inventory levels high or low depends on whether it's a good builder or a bad builder for very good builders uh, halfway through the construction project they are able to sell at least 50% and then they have the ability to wait out uh, for the prices to go up so i don't know about inventory levels because inventory levels matter in the place where you want to buy if you want to buy in a particular street because your parents live there or you want to buy in a particular place because uh, all your cousins friends etc are within 10 minutes walking distance and you want to be with them so whatever so then you have to see what is the inventory level available in that location which you want to buy and it may be just a one and a half kilometer location and may not have many new construction so based on that inventory level what happen, what is happening in ncr or what is happening in mira road is completely irrelevant for the person who is trying to buy in marine drive right so don't worry about inventory level see what is the inventory level at the place where you want to buy what are the economic conditions today it looks like indian economic conditions are just very optimistic so maybe uh, uh, should you wait for a recession what happens if the uh, if the poll results in 2024 are different from what people are expecting everybody is expecting that uh, modi will come back with 300 seats 350 seats 400 seats whatever uh, what happens if the result is to the contrary will the prices fall maybe uh, but definitely in a country where more and more people are optimistic and more and more people are coming into the job market chances are uh, future prices will only be higher but it will be 2% higher in a 7% inflation economy or 9% higher in a 7% inflation economy is a difficult thing to guess don't bother you decide on the basis that if you need it is not a bad time to be buying but what is more important is what is your personal situation how ready are you to buy a house assess your own financial health your uh, uh, score right your uh, civil score I have also made a video saying 3, 20, 30, 40 rule for buying a house, right? It should not be more than three times your CTC. When I say your CTC, you and your wife, right? So, uh, husband and wife together, the couple, uh, what is the, the total CTC into three? Then uh, you should not take a loan for more than uh, 20 years. You should make sure that all your EMIs put together is less than 30% of your uh, uh, of your uh, total cash outflows and uh, you should be able to make a 40% down payment for the for buying of the house uh, why are all these conditions necessary especially if you are a young couple uh, and uh, the wife can get uh, pregnant and uh, her income will stop for some time uh, be aware that you will have to pay the EMI from your own pocket so find out all this find out your personal situation find out the budget that you have the uh, the affordability based on all these criteria so based on all this you should be taking a decision in fact the the things which i said second are far more important than the conditions of interest rates etc interest rates will fluctuate similarly if you have decided that you want to quit your job and start your own business that's a very important uh, decision then don't go and commit to a big emi but if you have decided anyway you're going to be in a job and uh, and then also ask yourself will you change jobs uh, geographically or will you say no no i bought a house so i can't change jobs geographically many people do that right 70 percent of people don't change geographies uh, very easily even for jobs they would not even if the company says i am promoting you please go there it's not something that they are going to go very happily so some people don't like to change locations some people like to change locations so if you don't like to change locations uh, then maybe it is good for you to buy but you have to understand that the same jobs may not be available after some time so based on all that you take a decision not just on the basis of uh, how the market is and what is going to happen in the market yes all that is important but your personal financial situation is far more important than the macroeconomic environment thank you